Ever wondered what powers a computer? What's the mechanic behind these electronic wonders? Well, my dear viewers, that power resides in the central processing unit, or as we often refer to it, the CPU. Think of the CPU as the computer's brain. It's the one doing the tough work. It's the one processing, understanding instructions, making decisions. Now, envisage an orchestra. You have your violins, cellos, drums, each creating their aura, but who synchronizes them? The conductor, correct? That's exactly the role of the CPU. It's the conductor of your computer's orchestra, orchestrating each component to ensure they work in unison. Whether it's launching a browser, playing a video game, or running your preferred apps, the CPU's core, clock speeds, and cache are at the center, relentlessly working to make your computer's performance efficient and uninterrupted. So without the CPU, your computer would be as lifeless as a piece of toast. But what about the stunning visuals that elevate your gaming experience? Who's the mastermind behind that? Well, hold on to your seats. We dive into the world of the graphics processing unit, more commonly known as the GPU. Just like a renowned artist, the GPU is entrusted with the task of rendering all visuals, animations, and videos you see on your computer screen. Whether you're immersed in an intense game, every pixel, shadow, and detail is meticulously crafted by the GPU. It tirelessly works at breakneck speeds, rendering lifelike images that make you question the boundary between virtual reality. In a nutshell, the GPU is the unsung hero behind your computer's visual prowess. Enriching your experience, whether you're gaming, streaming videos, or casually surfing the web. But that's not all. We'll also delve deeper into what exactly GPU stands for, illuminate the contrasting roles of dedicated and integrated graphics, and break down complex terms like CUDA and stream processors. Next time you're engrossed in the spectacular graphics of your favorite game, remember the complex wizardry of the GPU. Ever wondered how your PC runs multiple applications at the same time without lagging? This is where RAM, or random access memory, steps in. RAM is the short-term memory of your computer, a dynamic workspace that holds the tasks your PC is currently handling. Imagine you're juggling. The more balls you have in the air, the harder it gets to keep them all going. RAM is like your hands in this analogy, juggling tasks instead of balls. The capacity of your RAM dictates how many balls or tasks it can keep in the air at once. And speed? That's where RAM's unique ability to access any byte of memory without going through the preceding bytes comes into play, making it incredibly agile. This ability to temporarily store and quickly access data means the higher the capacity and speed of your RAM, the more efficient your PC is at multitasking. So, in terms of your PC's performance, RAM is a vital player. But, where does all your data go when you shut down your computer? How does it recall everything? This is where we delve into the world of storage devices. Think of storage as the computer's long-term memory, a repository for all things digital. Analogous to how we secure our memories in our brains, computers safeguard their data in storage devices. Now, storage can come in different forms hard disk drives, HDDs, solid-state drives, SSD, and NVM drives. Each storage type, whether it's an old-school HDD, a speedier SSD, or an ultra-fast NVM drive, has its own capacity, interfaces, and speed differences. Picture a library. Imagine it replete with books, each of them brimming with distinctive narratives, facts, and concepts. Now envisage those books as your files, applications, and data. Every time you save a document, download a tune, or install a game, you're appending another tome to that library. And even when the library is plunged into darkness, and when the computer gets switched off, those books aren't going anywhere. They will be there, ready to be accessed and put into action when needed. So, whether your cherished photos or your crucial documents, it's these storage devices, HDDs, SSDs, and NVMe drives that ensure their safekeeping. So what happens when all these components work together? Well, imagine a symphony, a beautiful orchestra, where each instrument plays a vital role. The CPU is the conductor, directing the entire operation, making sure every component performs its task at the right moment. It's the brain of the system, the mastermind behind every click and command. Next we have the GPU, the artist of the group, rendering images, videos, and animations with breathtaking precision. It's the grand maestro of graphics, making your games and videos come alive. Then there's the RAM, the scratch pad of the computer where all the immediate work happens. It's the workbench, holding the data needed for the tasks at hand. Lastly, we have the storage, the library of your computer. It's where everything you save is stored, from your favorite games to your important documents. 
And that, my friends, is the symphony of components that makes your computer more than just a hunk of metal and plastic. Let's not forget the unsung heroes of this ensemble, though. The motherboard, the stage where this symphony unfolds connecting all the components and allowing them to communicate. It's the backbone of your system, and without it, the symphony won't play a single note. Then we have the power supply, the life giver of the system. It converts the electricity from your wall into a form that each of your components can use. It's the pulse of your computer, keeping everything running smoothly. And lastly, the case. It's the body of your computer housing all the components and protecting them from dust and damage. It's the armor, the shield that keeps your symphony safe. Now on to the intimidating acronyms and numbers. When purchasing or building a computer, you'll often come across terms like GHs, TB, DDR, and more. These might sound like alien language, but they're actually quite simple. GHG stands for gigahertz, and it's a measure of how fast your CPU can process data. TB stands for terabyte, a measure of how much data your storage can hold. DDR stands for double data rate, a type of RAM that can send data twice per clock cycle. Don't worry, we'll delve deeper into these terms in our next video. Remember, understanding these terms can help you make a more informed decision when purchasing or upgrading your computer. So, stay tuned.